career for all. 250 girls across the Channel Islands discover why engineering could be for them. Now, hundreds of girls from high schools and colleges across the Channel Islands have spent the day learning about the sorts of jobs they could do in the field of engineering. Yes, it's a sector that's still dominated by men, but there is now a campaign to encourage more women to get into such industries. And the students who've been there today have been hearing from some of those women who have carved out successful careers for themselves. Rob Byrne has this report. Building a successful career, like controlling this robotic arm, a bit of guidance is always helpful. It was quite difficult to get used to, but then once you've got it, it's quite straightforward. Nilly, who's 15, is one of hundreds of girls from across the Channel Islands at this event, aimed at encouraging them to consider a career in engineering. Why? Well, the subjects that often lead to an engineering or similar career are more popular with boys. That's led to a gender imbalance in the sector, leading to big global companies taking action. Children as young as six could be influenced by topics and, and that STEM is dull, science, technology, engineering or maths is either dull or it's boring or it's just for boys. So I think it's really important that we catch, catch children earlier on to engage and inspire them so that they feel that this is something that they can do, it is relatable. Tackling the gender imbalance in STEM from the classroom to the boardroom is recognised as a global challenge. As the world changes around us, those working in the area say it's important those changes are shaped by and benefit all of us. I think, you know, diversity really helps that creativity of thought. We, we don't want the same people thinking the same things. Fantastic ideas flourish when we have diverse thought. And it's hoped by getting hands-on and hearing from those already working in the industry, a reaction might be sparked among those here today. I thought that it was really interesting how doing just science can expand so many other opportunities for you in life. Just branching off that one subject, really. Well, we just heard different people who are engineers, um, women specifically, and... Um, their journey, what kind of different things they've been doing, and it's really cool <laughs> to hear things. Yeah. yeah. What did you think? <laughs> um, I think it was quite inspiring to hear about the girl from Jersey going to Antarctica. Uh, I think that was really cool, um, and it'd be nice to go and travel a lot within the engineering. And who knows, a future globe-trotting engineer or chemist could be at the College of Further Education today. It offers a number of routes into those areas, driving future careers to university or plugging you into a local business. We know that engineering, robotics is an area of interest and growth potentially. So we look to sort of, sort of future skills, what the workforce is going to be looking like. Um, we're going to need more engineers. And the hope is some of the girls looking for career inspiration today might have spotted an area of interest. Rob Byrne, ITV News. But that is the ITV News for the Channel Islands tonight. I'm back with all the latest at 11 o'clock tonight. Next, it's the ITV Evening News. From all of us here, good night. Good night.